Hello, it's Wednesday, April the 18th, 2012, and I'm Martin Smith with a daily outlook from UFX Markets. Wall Street finished in the green as the Nasdaq rose by 1.82%, closing at 3,042.82 points. The Dow Jones added 1.54% to its value, closing at 13,120.10. And the S&P closed positive, strengthened by 1.52%, closing at 1,390 points. The US dollar fell for the second straight day versus most of the majors as European debt concerns eased and the International Monetary Fund increased its forecasts for economic growth. In addition, Spain sold 3.18 billion euros of bills today, easing concern the European credit crisis will spread. Today, crude oil inventories are expected with 1.60 million versus 2.80 million previously. In commodities, gold fell by 0.10%, closing at $1,650 an ounce, and crude oil climbed to a two-week high to close at $104 a barrel. Technically, as long as it maintains the support level of $103.80 a barrel, the trend will continue to be bullish. Trading below the resistance level of 131.80 will keep the momentum of the euro dollar negative and the pair may again test its strong support level of 130.30. But if the pair will break this resistance level, it may reach the 132.50 level once again. Overall, the euro dollar traded with a low of 130.89 and a high of 131.71. Today, the current account is expected with 4.10 billion versus 4.50 billion previously. The trend for the pound dollar remains bearish if it maintains its support level of 160 and it may test its strong support level of 158.70 once again. If the pair breaks that support, it may reach the 158.20 level. Today, the unemployment rate is expected to stay unchanged as previously at 8.40% and the MPC meeting minutes are expected for release. The trend for the dollar CAD will continue bearish if it maintains its resistance level of 099.40. Breaking the strong support level 098.80 could cause it to test the next strong support level of 098.40. But breaking 099.40 could lead the pair to the next strong resistance at 100.40. Today, BOC monetary policy report is expected to be released and BOC is expected to set a press conference. Well, that's it from me. Be sure to visit us at UFX Markets for all your online trading needs.